All right, we're going live. Let me check it. It says I'm live. Oh, wait a minute. Dun, 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 dun. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. I think I'm live. Let's do this. Okay. What's up, nurse? Oh, wait. I forgot. I need to post super fast that I am live. Um, how do I do that again? If I can share just this link. Yeah, okay, cool. And I'll put that on our YouTube as well. Hopefully you can get to it from YouTube. Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. All right. Need to make sure that is going. Is there a chat? Okay, there's chat. Okay, cool. All right. So, good night. Good night. I almost said good morning. I'm used to saying that. Good evening. This is kind of late for me. It has been one heck of a week, but I am finally able to get back on here on Twitch. I really want to do more of these. And we are going to get into some more Zelda Ocarina of Time. One of my favorites. And yeah, we are right inside Dodungo's Cavern. And we will see what we can get into okay <clears throat> i've been playing a bunch of the it's not new but they've remastered um link's awakening and i've never played that game and it is super fun to play a zelda game that i've never played before it's very different for me because I've, I've i've probably played every mainline zelda other than maybe like spirit tracks and who else um Oracle of Sages and those, like the smaller Zelda games. I've played all the main ones. One of my favorites. And I said this last time, but super excited for the new one coming out. You get to play a Zelda. My daughter Harley and I are really looking forward to that one. As I'm sure a lot of you probably are. Alright, I gotta remove the controls too. Get out of here, boys. Alright. Little lizard dudes. No fun. No bueno. No bueno. I should have kept one around because you can get through that door without them because I don't have my bombs yet. We'll get through. I'm sure we'll get through this dungeon tonight. We'll see how far we can get. Before sleep calls my name. Hopefully, uh, whoever's watching you know, had a good week, um, good weekend, restful weekend, getting ready for the next week. Um, everybody knows Mondays is kind of like the worst part of the day, or worst part of the week, having to get back to the grind. But anytime I have a good restful weekend, I just had today off, um, but really good recharge with the family. Some good times. Why is it there? Okay, there's walking. The lizard knights. When all else fails, if you're fighting an enemy, hit him in the butt. Everybody knows. It's a tactic I think um, Sun Tzu wrote about in the Art of War. See, this the lizard guy knew it. See, he knows. Hit him in the butt. Don't. That's not. That's not actual combat. That's not a good idea to do. <clears throat> but anyway, if this is, you know, watching the playback, if this is your first time watching this, um, I'm the homeschool theologian. We do a podcast uh, over on the YouTube channel. We've got a couple other couple of YouTube style videos called Nerds in Christ, and we talk about all our favorite nerdy stuff. Um, 
in our, all of our, you know, we talk about our nerdy stuff we love, but also like the uh, spiritual side of things too. Because there's, there's always something, a deeper meaning to just about every story you watch or listen to or read about all those. Um, I think I went the wrong way. I did go the wrong way. So, uh, yeah, the Zelda, this, this Ocarina of Time has been my favorite game ever since I was a kid. And I've been wanting to do these live streams for a long time. Ever since I started YouTube, really. And, uh, and so I was like, you know what? I've got the, I've got the tech, I've got the, the gear to do it. I need to just start doing it. So I figured I need to, the best place to start would be playing Ocarina of Time. Because I know it really well. We can talk about stuff we, we find in here, the deeper meanings of things. And uh, just a lot of the reasons why I love this game. And one of them um, we'll get into later. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to put on my other shield before it gets burnt up. So something I came across the other day, which was really cool, um, was all about the shield of faith um that they talk about paul talks about in ephesians 6 and he was saying oh, i actually need my other shield right now that the, the the pastor guy that was teaching was talking about how many times um you know in in actual combat when someone would use arrows or flaming arrows especially that they talk about in uh, uh, Ephesians 6 is that the arrows will get stuck in your shield sometimes and if they're flaming arrows they're going to get stuck and continue to burn for a little bit and I thought that was really a cool picture because a lot of times we go through things you know in our faith walk and that's what Paul's talking about he's talking about our everyday life that we need to, to wear this armor every single day in Ephesians 6 and uh, he's talking about these arrows getting stuck in your shield. And I was like, you know, that's really cool because a lot of times our faith is strong enough or, or our faith in Christ, because Christ is strong enough, to block the arrow, to block the attacks. But sometimes we seem like the attack is just continuing. It's going longer and longer and longer. And uh, it's really just the, the flaming arrow he shot at us, the the sin, temptation, whatever it was that he shot stuck inside of her shield. And uh, we just need to let that thing burn out. And in another uh, passage, I think it's in James. Uh, I could be wrong, but it talks about resist the devil and he will flee from you. So a lot of times we just have to resist long enough until he just gives up and goes away. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to share that. I was, I was thinking about that when I was gearing up to get on here. And I'm talking, and I'm not concentrating on fighting these dudes, <laughs> so I'm getting my butt kicked. Okay, now we can light these torches and get on our way. Um, I hope I have all, every, all the settings right, if, if anyone wants to chat. Because, uh, yeah, big, a big part I want to make sure to emphasize is uh if anyone's on here and has questions or you're if you're watching the playback and you have any questions or concerns or just some stuff you're dealing with prayer requests all that kind of stuff just hit me up let me know i will stop i'll look i can look something up on my computer i've got my bible here by um would love to help help dig into stuff that you guys are going through but if you're watching the playback um you'll have to do it on the youtube channel or a comment or something like that and uh i am thorough about replying to all of our comments so don't worry i won't i won't forget about you what i need to do is make sure to get some hearts because i am in dire need Let's see if I make it. come on we got it we got it oops minky minky all right, we need to get this other shield up. Oh, man. I fail. It's okay. We'll be fine. This other shield looks so much bigger on him. Whoa, I have never noticed the teeth on that guy and his nose. <laughs> it's freaky. 
I've never noticed that. Oh, Linky's tired. Look at this poor kid. He needs some milk. I think I have milk. I do have milk. Let's get some milk, man. I wish he had a little uh, milk mustache. That'd be hilarious. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think this is the map. Man, if you're going through a dungeon, the only map that you need is the Bible. The Holy Scriptures. But you might ask, like, and I've often asked, like, in Bible studies or whatever, where in the world do I start? What do I, what do I need to get in today? And what I normally do, uh, like an everyday Bible study for me, is um, Proverbs. Because there's 31, 31 uh, Proverbs, 31 days in a month. So whatever day it is, it was what, the 19th, 18th today? Uh, read the 18th proverb. And uh, usually I go from there. Maybe read a psalm or something from the New Testament or the Old Testament. Um, always try to read something that Jesus said. So either Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, something like that. Always try to read something from there. And, uh, you know, well, maybe something in Paul's. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Uh, but yeah. Uh, this has always been one of my favorite parts in the game is uh, these stairs right here. It's so simple, but it's just cool. I've always thought that was so cool as a kid. There's a couple of puzzles like that in this game that are just, just cool. They're just cool. the audio is good because it would be really really silly if you couldn't hear anything but uh, either me talking or nothing that would be pretty bad I don't oh wait I can't get that guy Gold Scaltula. Gold Spider Skull guy. I think I think I just realized. I think it's supposed to say Tarantula, but it's Skulltula. Oh my gosh. I think I've I've never realized that. That's pretty funny. Right, these bats always tear me up. Got him. One game I, I really I'm trying to get my hands on is Wind Waker. I would love to play Wind Waker next. Um, I haven't played that game in a long, long time. I've got a GameCube. It's not mine, but I'm gonna borrow it from someone. I just need to get uh, get Wind Waker. So if you're watching and you want to support. Uh, support this just ship me Wind Waker I'll be very very grateful but if uh, also I mean honestly if you want to just support the channel you can go over to Nerds in Christ and kind of check out what we do over there there's a lot of ways to support um, never know what will be around the corner that's so true in life too you never know what's around the corner there's that one image that's like uh this guy's like has a, a pickaxe. I've seen it on Facebook a bunch, but he's got this pickaxe and he's just uh, pickaxing this this tunnel, right? And he stops and gives up right when he's on the edge of like breakthrough. Um, and I think a lot of times we can do that. We can we can work so hard and uh, just slave away at something and give up right before it's finished. Um, so don't give up. Keep chipping away. Right, we got time this. Hey, it worked. Sweet. I didn't think I had that. 
So if you're tuning in, I'm Mike, the homeschool theologian. Uh, all all kinds of nerdy Jesus stuff to talk about here. Um, I want to play this game in the the in a way that I don't. I've never really seen anyone play it, but anything that kind of pops in my head that reminds me of scripture or Bible stories or just life stuff in general. Uh, it's just not not a normal let's play. It's it's a let's play Bible study uh, life lessons all kinds of other stuff and if you're tuning in have any kind of questions anything like that just hit me up i'm trying to keep it on the chat while i'm fighting this lizard beast uh and we can pause the game we can talk about it any kind of questions concerns but just here to shine some light be a be a light in the darkness that sort of thing ah got me Ooh, see that move? Okay, you can do that. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Anytime I uh, play this and I'm, I'm on this last guy, I always try to go fight him out here because I just think it looks more epic. It's hard to say. Touch my tiny, tiny little dagger knife. Reminds me of... Uh, a Frodo and Sting from the Lord of the Rings. The little knife that uh, Bilbo gets. That turns out to be an elvish blade. Is this where I need to go? Yeah. Turns out to be an elvish blade, so it blow glows blue when orcs are near. And the only... Uh, and I, I'm a huge, huge Lord of the Rings fan. If you're watching, you don't, you've don't, you never uh, tuned in before. Huge Lord of the Rings fan. Uh, I joke around that I know more about Lord of the Rings and Zelda than I do the Bible. Which is kind of true, <laughs> but uh, but with the movies, I love, love, love the movies, but the only thing they got wrong in the movies is that Glamdring doesn't glow blue, uh, but Sting does, and that always kind of bugged me. I don't think the game, yeah, I don't think the game is in both my headphones. I wonder... I'm sure you can hear it though. Hopefully you can. On the playback, I did a playback before I officially went live and it sounded good to me, so hopefully it sounds okay. And I hope too that it saves to uh it saved last time, so I should be good. The first let's play I did, it didn't save to uh it didn't save to on Twitch, so I had to. I haven't even replayed the beginning, but it was like the the first, or it was in uh, Ka, not Kakariko, um, Kokiri Forest, where you start, and then the Great Deku Tree. And I need to, I need to replay that because I don't like not having the beginning. I want to have a, a continuous, cohesive story. So one of these nights where I can play. A little later, we'll play through that uh, real quick. That way, I can have that video. Oh wait, need more bomb. Okay. So if you've never, if you've never played this, I need to maybe share a little bit more on actual playing the game too. But the where the the strings go up on that bridge where it like crests where it peaks, this where I'm standing right here. Well, there's two. That's exactly where you need to throw the bomb to to get it right where it needs to be. And if you jump from a tall distance and you hold the stick forward, the analog stick, the controller forward, normally he'll roll, unless it's just like way too high. Right. We're almost to the dragon. The great dragon of old. It's kind of cool that you fight two different dragons in this game. One as a one as a kid and one as an adult. In this one, I guess he he'd be more of a would it be a worm that don't have wings, but he does breathe fire. So I don't know. I'm not. I do love dragons, but I'm not up to the the lore exactly on them. I usually like to. 
Just jump up here. Makes it a lot easier. You don't have to move that block all over there. And there's a room right there. But I think it's just like... I don't even remember. It might be a gold spatula or something. I don't need it. I'm not really worried about skulltulas or uh, pieces of hearts or anything like that. The only thing we got to worry about is getting uh, 200 rubies later for the, the tunic, the, uh, the fire tunic. Because I saw something um, I've never ever seen before and I've never done it, but you play uh, you play the last temples like as the adult link, the adult dungeons. Uh, which sound kind of bad, <laughs> the adult dungeons. But you play them um, not in the right order. You play them kind of goofy. And you can do it, it's just harder. So I, I kind of wanted to play through that, this one. Because, um, like I said, this is this is one of my very, very favorite games. And I've played it I don't know how many times. Um, but I've never played it like that. And I think that'd be cool. I think it's like the Fire Temple, Water Temple, Forest Temple... And then Spirit Temple and then Shadow Temple is the last one. So. You got bombs. If only we could have bombs in our normal life, right? Which sometimes Holy Spirit will drop some bombs on you. Uh, I've had that happen many, many times. You just reading scripture, it's talking to somebody, and you just get dropped a bomb on you. And you just gotta take a minute to think about it. This guy, he's scary. That is a mouth. Oh, he's considered a dinosaur. I forgot about that. Alright, wait till he's sucking in. Throw the bomb. Explodes. Jump attack. Rinse and repeat. Oh, and block right now. So he'll run over you and then chase him down. This one, this boss is really, really not difficult at all. I think the first one. Uh, what's her name? Goma? The spider one? I think that one can be pretty difficult if you don't, if you don't shoot her eye immediately, she'll spit out some, uh, some bad babies. You gotta kill her babies. One boss I remember that's like... At least I remember he was really, really hard. It was the dude in the uh, Shadow Temple. Uh-oh. Oh no! I haven't done that in a while. I prematurely drew my bomb. Don't draw your bombs too early. Sometimes you gotta hold them back. A little bit. If we're dealing with someone that needs a bomb dropped on them, you know what I mean? You don't want to drop it too soon. You want to drop it right at the right moment. That wasn't too bad. Were we 23 minutes in? Already got him done? Cool. Let's get our heart. I did consider playing this with only three hearts. Um, just get the views. But uh, I'll, I'll maybe do it another time. I've done it once before. It was pretty fun. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> He's one of my favorite characters, and really the Gorons in every Zelda game. I just love them. Especially the Breath of the Wild ones and uh, Tears of the Kingdom. They were funny. Ganondorf. 
Yep, it was Ganondorf's fault. We're about to take him out as soon as I do all the dungeons. <laughs> I like you, kid. I love how they're all about brotherhood and stuff like that. I think it's really cool. And like my hat says, iron sharpens iron. We got to be very mindful and purposeful with the the people we surround ourselves with. Um, especially the ones we see very often and allow them to, you know, obviously ha we need to have fun, like obviously, but uh, having people that you can talk to and really open yourselves up to, um, just open and honest with each other. And like the scripture says, uh, iron sharpens iron. Sometimes when you're sharpening each other, it doesn't feel so good. But when you have that trust built with that person, uh, you can sharpen their iron um, and that sort of thing. And uh, as long as if we keep each other accountable and keep each other sharp, then, uh, you know, we'll be better equipped for battle, that sort of thing. So, um, you know, now we're going to go up on Death Mountain. Oh, I should have made some tea or coffee or something. How's that? <laughs> For a streamer. I think that streamers probably are always way too hyped up on caffeine, though. And I'm by no means wanting to become a professional streamer. No, sir. I think it'd be fun to do. Might set a challenge for myself to try to do one stream a night for a week. I probably could get through Zelda. Get through Ocarina of Time. Would this roll? I just don't remember if it rolls. No, it doesn't. That's one thing really cool, I think, about uh, Breath of the Wild. They had two different bombs. A square one and a round one. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh, why isn't he throwing it? Come on, Linky. Linky, come on, buddy. I'm rusty. I'm so... <laughs> this is where we're going to get beat. Oh my gosh. Six more. We got this. Come on, dude. Sun's going down, big fella. There we go. What am I doing? I'm used to... I'm used to the other controls, I guess. It sounds like my dog is yelling at a coyote or something. Why isn't he jumping? There we go. Okay. Alright, here we go. Man. Put up your shield of faith right now, guys. Shield of faith when the volcano's going off. You don't want to get hit by those rocks. I think I have a fairy. Oh, we're gonna make it. Yes. All right, let's get our slingshot out. There's a couple other games I think I'd like to stream, like the, I got the Jedi, what, Fallen Order and Survivor game. I'd like to go through, that one I think would be really fun. I really love Star Wars and and uh, everything about the Jedi, because I think if we were more alike the Jedi, like in church, with discipleship and um, the way we train and, and that sort of thing, and having people under us, I think we would all do a lot better in our walk um, and have less, you know, big time pastors or social media people we follow instead, um, follow people in our community and have, have more camaraderie camaraderie in our communities and that sort of thing all right so we will good thing we have a couple more bombs i almost wasted them all we'll put our 
shield back on too. The Deku shield. Oh, I my Ocarina. My Ocarina. Alright. I used to know when I was a kid I would I knew all of the songs by heart. Oh my goodness, what is happening? I don't know what's happening with this. I'm using a switch so I don't have the little yellow dots. I wish I did. I wish I had an old Nintendo. I got rid of mine for some reason. Like an idiot. Should have kept that thing. It's supposed to be a symbol of something. I don't remember what it's supposed to be. These fairies always freaked me out with their laughing and their power stuff. Spin attack. I don't think you actually like ever need that in this game. I mean, there's a there's a couple uh, little magic powers the fairies give you that are just useful. One of them, Din's fire, you actually need. Actually, I think you could you could just use the fire arrows. I've never thought about that. But uh, the spin attack, I don't think you ever actually need. Yeah, she's talking about here, she's talking about the uh, the other fairy at the Cairo Castle. Uh, she gives you Din's fire, and it's like a Kamehameha fire blast thing. Pretty sweet. So now, we'll go down the mountain, and we will... I'll probably get to Zora's Domain, maybe get inside the fish before I quit. Hey, Mr. Owl. Give me a ride. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Thank you, sir. I have a, a book series I'm writing, and a very similar scene I have envisioned for um, towards the end of the book, but there's these two races. They're like a, kind of like hawk, osprey kind of people, and then dragon people. Um, and they pick up the main character off of a horse and they kind of wrestle with him in the air because they both want to capture him and uh later in the book he kind of has to go um he's got to go like through a mountain ravine like that and he's they've got him on his shoulders and they're flying him through and honestly i've probably thought of it from this game but uh last time we streamed i tried to get through that little bit to get this heart piece and someone told me you can just drop down right here. And I totally forgot about that to get this heart piece. So I don't remember your name, but thank you whoever commented that. I think it was on Instagram, so I'll have to give him a shout out. Or her. I don't remember if it was a guy. Or All right, let's see if we can get any Skaltula rewards. Doesn't look like it. Let's see what the first one is. I mean, we have a couple of them, right? Maybe the first one's like 10. Is that all they say? You can't figure out how many you need? Yar, I'm cursed. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll have to come back after 10 or so. Alright, to Zora's Domain. Get through the mermaid people. I think there's a Kakariko village in just about every Zelda game. Kind of one of the most iconic villages and songs and stuff. 
I love the one in Breath of the Wild. It's like a ninja kind of Japanese style villages and houses and stuff. It's super cool. Oh yeah, we gotta get some magic beans. Right, let's test out our wave blast spin attack. Hey, owl guy. What do you want? Hoot, hoot, hoot. Result is no made. Protected by this water source. Yep, you gotta play the Zelda's lullaby. Pretty much any door you come across, you gotta play Zelda's lullaby until you get, learn the Song of Time, and then you start playing the Song of Time for everything. My cousin, back in the day, he had an ocarina, um, and he could play it, and I thought it was so cool. It's Cousin Mikey. Shout out to Cousin Mikey. Let's get this chicken. I'm going on the ride, chicken. I want any magic beans. I don't think you actually, like, need them for anything other than heart pieces. I said we weren't going to get any heart pieces, but I kind of want to get this one because it's fun. You got to drop the chicken at like the perfect time. Yep. Oh. oh my gosh, I and mean, then you're not supposed to jump like that. Really, I need a bigger, bigger wallet. So I can carry all these rubies and find them everywhere. Hmm. I think Sarah would know anything about the spiritual stone. She's in the forest. This one's about water. One thing I do need to figure out is get like the overlay and stuff for Twitch, make it all pretty like. Hey, we can go get that Skull 2 while it's nighttime. I think you can only get it when it's nighttime. I'm not really sure. Okay. Got him. Because we do need enough Skulltulas to get the 200 uh, ruby wallet. That's what we really do need. Uh, anything else though? All right. Sleepless performers. There we go. I don't know what the deal was earlier. Another thing I need to figure out is even some snacks in here in my writing cabin. So I'm streaming right now outside of the house. We've got this little um, kind of cabin she shed out by my shop, by the barn. And uh, it was actually given to me by my old workplace. I used to work for a water park and they were getting rid of it. And uh, I figured out how to get it home. Uh, put all kinds of knickknacks and nerdy stuff in it. Um, got all this equipment that you don't see, but you're seeing me through it and hearing me through it. And, uh, and yeah, it's my little writing cabin. It's ultimately, one day I would love to write full time. I've got a lot of books and stories that I would love to tell. But in the meantime, I've never noticed those hives. You never ever noticed them. They don't want to fall. Alright, Jabu Jabu. My dear sweet princess. Alright, so first things first, you got to go get the scale. You got to complete the diving challenge. Okay, I think there's five rubies. 
Yeah. Here. Five rubies. Gotta go get them. So, try to get one on the dive, but I messed up. Come on. Come on, Mickey. You got this, buddy. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We got this. All right. This is the silver silver scale. You get the I think you get the gold scale from like the fishing at Lake Hylia. I think that's where you get it, or you get it from that one laboratory crazy guy with like a shark in the cage. That place is crazy. I don't remember which one. Again, I don't I don't think you need the gold one for anything special. Now no, it's coming back to me. You get the gold one from the fishing, and then you need the gold one to get a heart piece from the crazy laboratory guy. I'm pretty sure. Scale of our kind. It's beautiful. If only things worked as easy as Legend of Zelda, you just get a scale and you can dive deeper. Wouldn't that be cool? You just get a blue tunic and you can uh, you can breathe underwater. It would just be awesome. But alas, things don't work that way. We gotta. It's a little bit harder for us. Right. I think that's about it. And we get another bottle, which. If you if you know you're good at Zelda, it's it's really depends on how many empty bottles you have, because that's really the commodity of the of Hyrule is empty bottles. Everybody knows that. All right, and now we can go give this to her dad. Actually, before we go anywhere further, we need. Okay, we'll go give the letter to her dad, then we'll come back and get a fish. I'll show you why we need a fish in a minute. It's almost my bedtime, folks. Yeah, 45 minutes will be probably perfect. What's up, King? What's his name? His name's not Jabu Jabu. What is his name? I cannot remember. I got you a bottle. Oh, a letter from my dear sweet daughter. This is not possible. Oh, he's a god to them. Uh oh. There's only one god, ma'am, and he doesn't wear a cape. You know, these people, especially him, kind of remind me of the Star Wars people in Episode 1. What's his name? Jar Jar Binks. He kind of has a name like him, Jabu Jabu. That's funny. I never thought of that. It's just, he really stole the show. The, fir <laughs> the first time I played this with Harley, my daughter, she uh, when we got to this part, she cracked up at this. She thought it was so funny. Which you know all the developers of the game, all those Japanese guys were just rolling when they made this. I'm sure I'm sure they, they were like, make it longer, make it longer. No, that's not long enough, a little bit longer. And yeah, I think, oh, I thought that the scene cuts out and he's still moving and then you can run around. Need to have the... Uh, the little Spongebob thing, two hours later, and then he's finally moved. I might make a clip of that, that would be funny. Alright, catch a fish, put it in my pocket. Hang on, can't you buy a fish in here? How much is it? 200 and we just caught one? <laughs> That's pretty silly. 
Fish are expensive. You'd think Zor's Domain, they would have all the fish they'd ever need. I guess that's not the case. Or maybe... Man, maybe the fish are their children and he's selling his child for 200 rubies. I hope not. That wouldn't be cool. Jabu Jabu, we're coming for you. Princess Ruto, too. Alright, you hungry? Hungry, big fella? I just had a thought, but I'll save it for next stream. I'll leave something with you guys, though. Who was swallowed inside of a fish? In the Bible. I'm sure we all know him. Maybe I'll do a little study on that before I play next time, and we'll talk about it a little bit more, because that would be that would be a pretty cool topic to talk about inside Lord Jabu Jabu. But anyway, uh, thank you for hanging out with me. If you're here or uh, if you watch the playback, I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to support the stuff we do, um, the stuff that I do over at Nerds in Christ, or you can support me with my books. You can find me on Instagram, um, Homeschool Theologian. You can find my books that way. Or um, on YouTube, the Nerds in Christ, what we do, the podcast, and we have all kinds of other resources on there too. But anyway, um, God bless you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Good night. I got to figure out how to close it. Here we go. All right. See you.